playing flex track seems to be a bit of a challenge sometimes. So, uh, you know, there's always a question about bending it around the curve and getting the solder joint here to bend, bend smoothly with the, with the balance of the track continuing on. So I show a few t uh, thoughts here about how I do this. First, I fasten this, the track down inside the helix because cosmetics aren't important here, it's just getting it to hold down tight. I use number four by uh, five eighths inch screws, number eight washers, which are just a simple washer, and this is sized so that the, the pan head screw or the tapered head screw almost fits down through the washer, but not quite. The net result is that when the washer fastens the, the track down but here to the ties, the screw head and washer are below the level of the rails, so it's not going to hang up on anything like uh, glad hands for couplers. And the washer is small enough that it's not going to interfere with uh, flanges on the wheels on either side. But I start by using some of these handy little blocks. Blocks of metal from uh, Small Parts Incorporated. They're a one inch diameter, or one inch square steel, about three inches long. Really handy for this sort of thing. Kind of roughly line the track up with the center line. Come through here with the nippers and more or less cut them off square so they're more or less lined up over there. And I use my file, which is a file I have designated for track work only. Come in here and just clean up the end of the rail, taper the bottom a bit, just hit the rail head on either side just a little Make sure all the burrs are knocked off. Next I come through here with a push pin and just bend the track a little bit tighter than it's supposed to be. Push the pin into the road bed and that holds a little bit of the track pretty much straight. Toss a weight here to keep everything nailed down well. Once I Clip the little joiner on the back side, allows me to take off the first tie anyway. And I come back and I clip the little bar that connects to the next two pieces, next two tie rather. And I'm not taking that tie off, I just clip the little joiner bar and that allows me to kind of slide the tie back to allow a little more working space here on the end. That gets done to both sides of the rail, both ends rather of the three foot flex track. Now I take the piece of track, I've, I've got a couple of uh, rail joiners on the end here that I've installed and uh, make sure and slide these into place. Use a couple of these little weights just to hold this end of the track down and you just get down there and kind of eyeball it. <clears throat> and the idea here is to uh, set the rails up so that even though you're soldering rail that's following around a curve, when you make the actual joint, you're just soldering two straight pieces of rail together. That looks pretty good. It's straight. I don't feel any particular imperfections at the joint there, so next comes the soldering. I use these bent-nosed pliers as uh, a type of uh, heat sink. You can see where it's a regular old looking plier on this side, but the nose curves over. I've got a rubber band around the handle to uh, more or less keep it held shut. And I just clamp that around the track on that end, clamp it right around the rail on the other side, and that keeps a lot of the heat from traveling too far and melting a bunch of the ties. And of course the next uh, detail is add just a little bit of flux to each one of these joints. Paste flux doesn't take a lot. I take my soldering iron and to make sure the tip is good and clean, just give the tip a little brush with a wire brush. And I should note what I'm using here is a small Weller 25 watt soldering iron. It doesn't have to be huge in order to be a make a successful joint on rail like this. 
repeat the joint. Solder flowing down nicely into the joint there. Put a little, make sure that it's heated up and this has got to be a good solid joint because it's going to take a little bit of lateral stress. So I use a fair amount of solder. And that pretty much is that. Make sure the joint is nicely heated. Looks good. Jar of lacquer thinner. Stiff bristle brush. And just swab that across the joints to clean off any flux that may be on any of the surfaces that I'm going to be having locomotive and rolling stock wheels go across. These feel pretty good, but I use the file just to touch up the joint a little bit. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Once these things are covered by the next layer of helix, it's really tough to get in there and work on them, so it's best to get it done the first time done right. All right, very smooth, very nice. Now we're cooking with gas, as they say in the old country. We'll pull that thumbtack out. Verify that the track's kind of on line here. And that looks pretty good so far. So what we wind up with is uh, the, the track with a very, very smooth solder joint right around the joint, right around the following the curve there. No problems with derailments on this. We'll start our screw in here. Let's tack it in place with the driver. And bring in the heavy metal. Kind of eyeball it and make sure that the track is positioned side to side evenly centered on the line and that it uh, kind of follows along the curve here smoothly on both sides of the screw. It doesn't have to be driven down flat. Now the screw is nicely uh, recessed below the top of the rails holds it in place. And I put the screws on either side of the joint fairly close. Start that screw. Start this one. I'll admit I haven't seen anybody else use this same exact technique for fastening the track down in a helix, but what the heck, it works for me. This is the second one I've built this way, so uh, I suppose I'm doing something right. And it's worked each time. Okay. Looking good. So that, in short, is how I built my Helix. It's worked out pretty well for me, and uh, some of the techniques may work well for you, too. In the meantime, of course, the final step before we go too much farther is the test run. So, thank you for watching. Looks pretty good from here.